from Alabama, his wife, who was presently in Guyana. And because they uh, could have uh, come to Guyana, they, we were able to make this trip go on this follow. So we thank God for them. Yeah, yeah. From Anderson, Alabama, uh, John and Kathy Hunter, yeah, from the Southern Great Baptist Mission in Anderson, Alabama. So they are a, a tremendous blessing to the world here in Guyana. Uh, he is conducting the uh, training program every Saturday with, uh, with those who are studying for the ministry. And they, are, they help to us at the church training center, mission work, and uh, so we thank God for them and uh, their faithfulness there in Guyana. Uh, affords us the opportunity to come on this trip. It will be a lengthy one. I just passed on uh, uh, to a sheet of paper there with some of the things that we uh, hope to achieve, we hope to achieve during our trip. And, uh, trust and pray that the Lord will provide for us there in Diana. Well, let me stop here for a while. Uh, if you have any questions, if you, okay. I don't know if you understand me clearly, or if you have any questions in between. Oh. How long have you been down there? Uh, since 1936, or seven years. You were born there, right? Born in Diana. My great lady. Oh, about your salvation when you say? I was saved at the age of 19. Though I was raised a Presbyterian on the Baptist ministry. So I really came to know uh, the Lord as my Savior. Though I was uh, raised in a Christian home, but didn't know anything about personal salvation. What's of your needs? Uh, well, uh, we are with men that are missionaries. Just uh, two weeks ago, we ordained one of them into the gospel ministry. Last year, we ordained uh, one of the men. So we have two ordained men into the gospel ministry, and we are trying to raise support for them so they can be full time in the ministry as well as they can be able to supplement their income. Uh, we are hoping to raise at least 1000 a month uh, to help this man, uh, the Lord's willing. Then we have a family that is in dire need, a family of eight. do not have a house of their own. Uh, they've been moving from one place to the other, uh, trying to get shelter, and uh, they try to work to provide for themselves, but all the children are very small. And uh, they are members also, they are members of our church. And they are at uh, the mission. So we started uh, to put up a building for them. Not one of those parts buildings, but something that they can uh, live in and then develop a sun boots bar. Uh, Pastor John Hunter is here heading the uh, building project. They need at least uh, five thousand dollars more, five thousand US, to help them to complete the, the, the house and to put in some facilities. Yeah. This will not uh, have like indoor plumbing and uh, uh, bathroom. Everything will be outdoor. Things are pretty, pretty expensive in Miami. Down of things is um, like about 25 U.S. dollars. You could have your buildings out of cement, metal, or wood, or uh, no, most, most buildings are uh, out of wood and cement. And, but this particular building is something that I have uh, designed, and it is a very low cost building. It will cost less than ten thousand US dollars. A three bedroom and a living room and kitchen area and so forth. 
You know what the unemployment rate is in Guyana? The unemployment rate. I would uh, say like about maybe, mm, I have no real idea about it because everybody has to do something for themselves, but I don't know. Do you have any idea? It's, it's a very small country, about 750,000 people. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are self-employed, farming and that sort of thing. So while they might not be, you know, unemployed, their income is very meager, put it that way. It's hard to, to say exactly what the unemployment is. Yeah. Well, um, though people are trying their best thing, and the cost of living has gone so much, and um, the devaluation of the Diana dollar is another major problem for the people. For example, uh, the average BC is about a thousand dollars dollars. And a gallon of gas is one thousand dollars. So you have an idea. Yeah. Very difficult. Uh, we were trying to look for some tires for the pickup truck which we use for the ministry. We have a bus, small bus. And to put in four tires on a pickup truck, it will cost a hundred and twenty thousand Diana dollars. While the people are faithful in the giving, uh, the money does not go very far because of the high cost of uh, materials and all the things that we have to import into the country. Any need for Bibles or anything? Yeah, there is. There's always need for Bibles. People always ask for Bibles. And do uh, sort of give out Bibles and new tracts and Christian books. We have the Skills Training Center. And uh, if there's anyone who has the uh, ability and not the time, would like to come and uh, devote some couple of months. Helping us at the school training center or help with the computer program. Uh, we need somebody who can uh, repair typewriters. And that's what I need there. Fix them up, service them, and uh, you know, to teach some of these things and get them work. So. Your amazing work, are they, uh, do they have somebody regularly? Yes, we have these men who are tra uh, trained and are still continuing in the training. They have, uh, you know, they are carrying on the mission. Okay. Any other questions? Are you glad to go out in your community and visit and end out of church or very much so? And because of our involvement in the things we, we do in the wider community, uh, the people are more uh, responsive. On average, how many do you have in the church? At uh, Carrizo Baptist Church, we presently have uh, attendance in the 40s, on Sunday morning, and Sunday evening, maybe in the 20s, Wednesday night in the 20s. And uh, that church has suffered uh, because of the constant migration of our people uh, leaving the country. Uh, people are leaving the country on a daily basis. Uh, I would say that uh, the Guyanese population is greater out of Guyana than in Guyana. The family ties are greater in the United States and Canada and elsewhere. Uh, Roadside Baptist, we have Sunday morning attendance in the 70s and 80s, and uh, the evening is a Sunday evening, Wednesday right? evening. There is a uh, drop in attendance because um, of transportation, when it's the transportation. The missions are doing pretty well. The mission right now, we are, we are about to put up our third church building. That mission is growing. <coughs> you have to do the 
transportation and we send it and that takes up a lot of our resources providing the fuel and maintenance of the bus and so forth. 